Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Carla Nicole, happy, hope everybody's doing well. Um, happy Thursday to you. Hope everybody is amazing. <laughs> I am and, and feel pretty wonderful, actually. Um, so I wanted to talk today about something that I think we need to be mindful of. Of course, your coach, Carla Nicole, I always have something to drop to give you something to think about um, because it's important. I feel like in this lifetime, we need to be mindful of certain things that we need to be um, ahead of the game on. I think a lot of times we have things that's going on in our life, but we really don't think um, that what's going on in our life can definitely impact our life, right? So good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is good. So here's the thing. If you see, I titled this, um, my baby is my everything. Okay. So you know, I'm always going to come with something um, unique, of course. So I want to talk about my baby. So my baby could be my love, my lover. It could be my child. It could be my job. It could be several different things that I claim to be my everything, right? And I think that we have a tendency to feel like if something is our everything, it's a great thing. But <laughs> you always know I'm going to tell you something about loving of self and why that needs to be your everything versus your child, your parent, your mom, your kids, your grandparent. All of the reasons why I said my baby is because it could be any of them being your baby and being your everything, right? Um, what is such the challenge is in life, we have different people, um, different connections, different um, love affairs that we have through our life. And sometimes um, they really become more primary to even ourself. And why this is extremely dangerous <laughs> is because what happens if something happens to that baby? What happens if something happens to that job that's your baby, that you're so excited about having? What if they shut the doors? What if your lover decides that he wants somebody else? Maybe not just somebody else, but your best friend. Now, not only did you lose him, you lost him and your your buddy. What if, this is why I said your baby, because it could be a lot of different things. What if it's your child? You didn't lose them to an auto accident, but maybe you lost them to going to college and going out of the state and moving on with their life into a different area. Now your baby, that's your everything, is now gone. Now, what do you have? What do you have? A lot of times, it's, it leaves us with grief, depression, sadness, loss of motivation for life. And when this happens, a lot of times, people get to that point to, their, to where they don't know where, how they even ended up here. How did I get to the point of... <laughs> I had everything and now my everything is gone. Now I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to turn. So I wanted to talk about this today because a lot of times, you know, uh, having something be your baby, be it even a material thing or even abundance financially, your baby could be a lot of different things that we don't really think about until we lose it. Then it's like, oh my God, I'm in complete and total despair. I don't know what I'm going to do now. So I want you to think about something. And, and you know, I'm not going to be on here long, so I'm going to keep this fairly short. I want you to think about something that's very important and vital. In this lifetime, you have to prioritize you. You have to deep dive into yourself. It is beautiful to have children. It is beautiful to have a love affair. It is beautiful to have a great career and occupation and, and a beautiful home and all those things in people. Those are beautiful things to have. However, if you lose yourself, <laughs> it's hard to find you again when you lose 
that person, those things, that opportunity, you don't know what to do. You know, being a coach, I've had many different peaks and valleys in life. I lost my mom in 03. I mean, I my daughter left for college. I mean, everything that you could possibly think of. I lost my grandfather at like 11. And so when you go through these different peaks and valleys in life, you have to sit down and say, yes, this per these people are important. Yes, they mean a lot to me. Yes, I'm thankful for them. But once I understand that I need to make sure I'm good, make sure my mental health is okay, make sure that I am focusing on what I need, it puts everything in a better perspective. When we have our babies, I'm telling you right now, when you have your children, it is, a, it is so fulfilling that you cannot describe how thankful and appreciative you are to becoming a parent. That is a beautiful thing without a shadow of a doubt. But our children, our babies are on borrowed time. And sometimes our love affairs are on borrowed time. They're not going to be here forever. Um, and one of the hardest, you know, coaching sessions that I have are the ones that, you know, someone lost somebody or someone passed on and that person is, is lost. Like they don't know what to do now that that person is not in their life. And that's why I always say, prepare ahead of time. Make sure you're focusing on what you need. Focus on what you want and what you desire for yourself. Because one thing is for certain, you will never ever, I mean, truly understand the power of loving you until you lose something that was your everything. That changes and shifts you into a whole nother awareness. Oh my goodness, all this time I was putting myself on the back burner, right? I wasn't doing what I wanted to do for me. I put stuff aside because I wanted to make sure my other my child or my everything was okay and it's okay I get it but you have to prioritize you you have to take out those segments of space and time and say I love you even in your love affairs I love you but I have to go do me <laughs> I need some time for myself I need to do something to now be open to my own freedom because in even a love relationship, when you get so overly consumed with like being so clingy and, and, and your love affair is so overwhelming that you can't breathe, eventually that starts to cause that love affair to, to fade. Because you're like, I can't breathe and in this suffocation, because I have dedicated all my time and energy to you, it now has costed us to be reacquainted and a lot of times we don't reintroduce ourselves to our lovers because we don't spend enough time apart we don't spend enough time in our alone time just because you're in a love affair doesn't mean you sacrifice self you sacrifice your time to be alone you sacrifice your time to meditate take time to learn something new challenge yourself these are all important things that a lot of times we we don't focus on because something outside of ourselves is our everything. And like I said, our baby can be our child, can be our man, can be our career, whatever that baby is, it can be so open and nice to have. However, when it comes time to that, that relationship or um, that career, you retire and you're like, man, I don't know what to do now. My, my my affair with this job is over. Now I'm lost. That's why so many people, once they get to retirement age, they don't live long. They lost their life. They lost their everything. So it's important and vital that you don't do that. You don't lose you in the process of loving and being excited about what's outside of you. Always remember that. It's vital. If you need a coach, inbox me. I'm just an inbox away. If you need to just get, get some balance and get some focus on what's going on in your life and life is passing you by and you feel like, I just don't know what I'm doing. That's what a coach does. That's what I do. 
and make sure to get you back on track. Are you making sure you're okay? Because as long as you make sure everybody else is okay and not yourself, you're depleting you. You're losing self. And a lot of people don't talk about loss of self. They don't until they lose them. They're everything. I hope I help somebody today. Make sure you share this video. It's Carla Nicole. <laughs> I'm signing off. Best kept. Bye, guys.